Jay, you, uh, you, you talked before the season about being more aggressive and, and really showing what you can do. And two games in, you've done that. Can, can you describe uh, what it's been like to, to play early this season and your ability to, to score and create the pass? Um, Coach Bowles has just given me, I the whole team, a lot of freedom to play. And his offensive sets, it, it, it's it's crazy how, like, the spacing that I can do and, like, find people. And teammates are knocking down shots. Coach Bowles makes it easy for me. Um, along those lines, uh, having a guy like Jordy back on the floor has probably helped a great deal with that spacing. Yeah, definitely. That That's one of the best shooters in the country. And so every time, I'm always just looking for him. Ben, could you talk a little bit about that offensive philosophy? Uh, again, you're another guy that can that can benefit from from good floor spacing, and we've seen that to a large degree the first two games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely have a lot of space um, in these games. Just a lot of shooters, especially with JD back, he just spaces the floor a tremendous amount. And then obviously having Jay at the point guard, being able to distribute to anywhere on the court at any time is is obviously very beneficial to uh, to the flow of the offense. Hey, it's two games. You got another thirty to go, but but how rewarding is it? to kind of get some some early rewards. Uh, you know, the expectations externally are very high, but, but you guys have come out and, and probably exceeded those in your first two games out. Yeah, um, just seeing the hard work we put in over the summer, just everyone get, coming in every single day, being everyday guys. And then even days after these games, um, after the first game, everybody coming into practice, just ready to go. And uh, it's just great to see everybody just wanting to get better. And um, we're not happy 2-0. Uh, we got a lot of games ahead of us, and I think that's that's the mindset of a lot of guys in our team and our coaches. Is just we got to come in every single day, getting ready for the next game. Could you talk about that just a little bit, Jay? Uh, you know, not many people expect you to win that first one, for instance, and, and you guys are already one under par, uh, so to speak. Yeah, uh, there there was like a poll, and like all the coaches picked us last. So I mean, I guess we're playing with a little chip on our shoulder and trying to stay hungry. But like Ben said, we're just two and zero, oh, and we got uh, bigger goals. Uh -huh. It's just a great feeling getting out on the court with him. Um, just having a point guard that is truly pass first and just makes some some of the most ridiculous passes you've ever seen just right on the money. Um, it's just a blast playing with him. You guys aren't just getting shooting from the guards. Uh, first game makes frames three three pointers. This game makes some three 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 pointers. How key is it to get floor spacing from not only the guards but also your forwards? Uh, those guys have been ready. Uh, they had a season last to watch and prepare, and they've been getting in the gym, getting up shots, and it's great. Like I said, the spacing, guys ready to shoot, <clears throat> and they're knocking them down, so it's great. Hey, what kind of stuff did you work on over the off season just to, just to improve your own game? Uh, I wanted to get a lot stronger, try to add like 15, 20 pounds of muscle. Um, my jump shooting, too, trying to shoot a lot more uh, jumpers. I haven't really done a lot of that th so far, but those are two main things I worked on this summer. Did you meet that 15, 20 pound goal? It's just I think it's 12 pounds different between what it was someone was for last year and this year. Is that even? Uh, yeah, I, I think I gained 16. 16. Uh, you guys aren't playing another home game for three weeks. Uh, is this, how do you guys view this period coming up? Uh, the competition's gonna, gonna get tougher. You got some of your bigger games of the non-conference coming up. How, how do you two look at these next three weeks and what it means moving forward? Um, well, Coach Bowles has talked a lot about toughness to us. And uh, for us to just go on the road these next three weeks, um, we just got to be the tougher team every time out. Um, it's, a, it's a good challenge for us, uh, testing uh, a new team. So um, we just got to have the mindset to just go out there and, and compete and just be tough no matter where we're playing at, because we're going to be playing at some uh, some some tough places. So uh, just going out there, just playing as hard as we can, uh, playing together, and just being tough. What does toughness look like to you? Um, some things that we talk about: uh, communication, uh, just on defense. Everyone's got to talk through stuff. Just uh, sprinting both ways on the court. Staying together. Yes, yeah, staying together. Yeah. Hey, quick question for Jay: uh, the bigs making threes. How much of that is a surprise? How much of that is, oh, well, that's that's what they do. I'm talking about guys like Sylvester and uh, and Mayer.
Mason and, and even Nolan Foster. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what they they we we practiced a lot this summer and got up a lot of shots. Uh, they're all, they they their confidence is high, and I always tell them to shoot it if they're open, and they and they can knock it down, as you can see. Opens the floor a lot. So even even Big Nolan out there from the corner, that's that's in that's in his wheelhouse. Yeah. Uh, what were you most pleased? Um, you know, I, I think our ability to respond to slow start, you know, in both halves, um, you know, it's not ideal to get off to a slow start. And, you know, we talk about kind of setting the tone defensively and offensively, <laughs> and, and I felt Heidelberg did that in both halves. But uh, I thought our guys responded pretty good and, and picked up the energy uh, level on, on both ends. And, and um, I thought I was impressed with the way we, we shared the basketball. You know, sometimes in games like this, you can, you know, kind of get a selfish me, me, me. You know syndrome, but I thought we made the, the right play for the most part, and um, you know just really happy you know get some guys in the game. Uh, good to see Marvin Price back. Uh, good get John and Michael in there to get some minutes. Um, going to, to sharing the basketball, how much does it help having your you know your best player, your, your point guard, kind of leading the charge? Like yeah, he, he sets the tone, you know, and, and you know he's going to continue to get better and better, and you know we need him sometimes to be a little less selfish, you know, because he always wants to make the pass first, second, third. And, you know, there's going to be games where, you know, he's going to have to shoot the basketball, you know, for us to win. But uh, he definitely sets the tone. And, and uh, you know, we really, you know, stress it in practice. And we chart it, you know, scrimmages, exhibition game, capital, St. Bonaventure, of when we move the basketball, when we get ball reversals, the scoring goes up. You know, when we, we pass once and shoot it, you know, your scoring per possession is not very good. So. You know, we got we, we still got a young group, and uh, you know we'll show tape and and keep preaching it. Um, what kind of limits or, or limits? What kind of minutes are you looking at? Uh, keep, he's playing Jay. He's playing great, uh, but, but can you continue to ride him 35, 36, 40 minutes like you did the other night? Uh, how much of that is a concern early in the season? Yeah, um, it's a concern, but um, you know it's it's who we have, it's what we have, and what we need. And I think until we get some reinforcements, you know, out there with with Miles and, and Ben, um, you know, he's going to have to continue to do that. Him and Jordan both, even London. And um, you know, I, I've been around teams where we played six guys, and you get conditioned to play that many minutes, you know. And and so we got we got to be smart about it, you know, when we can, you know, rest them, media timeouts, um, you know, try to get them an extended minute or two when we can, but. When he goes, we go, and we need him on the floor. Chris, what's the biggest thing you'd like this team to improve on after the games? Yeah, I think a couple of things. You know, defensively, we, you know, we, it's got to be a constant with us. You know, guarding the basketball. You know, not allowing guys to dribble drive us. Uh, it's got to be a constant of blocking out, rebounding, and you know, we don't have any anybody that's just a go getter. You know, on the defensive boards. So we we got to continue to you know do that because every single game you know key is going to be transition defense, keeping the ball in front and then rebounding when the ball goes up. And uh, if you look back at St. Bonaventure, we did a great job in the half court defense, but we gave up 16 offensive rebounds. And you cut that down to 11, you know it's five less points. You know you win by 17 to 20 as, as opposed to 12. And uh, you know going forward, we're going to play bigger, taller, ath more athletic teams. So it's going to be more imperative that we do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, 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 really pleased with where he's at. Uh, he's a great kid. He wants to be really good. He works extremely hard. Um, he brings his lunch pail, hard hat every day, and you know he's gotten a lot better since day one. And you know we we initially thought we might redshirt him, see how he progressed, but he always seems to be around the basketball. You know, he's not playing like a true freshman, and uh, you know we we need you know the, those, those freshmen not to play like freshmen, and he's one of them. Yeah, I think you know he, London, and, and Ben both. You know, Miles and Marvin have been out, and you know, I've been really pleased. You know, Ben Roderick was probably you know one of our top three players before he got hurt, and uh, you know London, you know, is a kid who's a winner. You know, one one in high school, and you know never has a bad day. Surprise! I, you know, when you look at your 
experience them and the way they're shooting up three early in the season, how would you assess that? Yeah, well, we have confidence in them shooting it now. You know, there's, there's a difference of them shooting it or Jordan Dart is shooting it. You know, Jordan's got a green light. You know, our bigs, when they pick and pop or, you know, JP gets downhill and, and draws a five-man, they're wide open. We want them to shoot that. And they're both capable uh, when they get their feet set, hold their follow through. You know, Sylvester hit a big one in, uh, at St. Bonaventure as well. And, you know, it's a good weapon for us, you know, because you, you got to guard him, you know, when he's out there. And, and guys like Nate and then even Mason uh, today, those, those are, that's, that's just part of their game. So. Yeah, we spend a lot of time shooting. And, and, you know, I've been on teams where you struggle to shoot and it's not fun. You, you really, you know, how are we going to score? And I think with Jason Preston out there, it's like if you're not ready to shoot the basketball, when you could be three passes or three people away from Jason Preston, and he's going to find you somehow. So the ability to be shot ready, you know, has is, is got to be there. And, and his ability to get downhill and create, you know, you know, two on ones, three on twos on the weak side are, are big for us. You know, so we're going to put him in a lot of situations where he, he's got to make a decision, and you know, those guys got to you know be be ready to shoot the ball. Yeah, I think like we talked about before, it's contagious. You know, when he's moving the ball, and and, and we we preach it from day one, being unselfish, playing selfless, and you know, I think the ability to share the basketball, get everybody involved, because we got a lot of guys who can you know post up, Ben can post up, JP, Sill, Nolan, you know, they're going to create double teams, and you know, it's really about making the right play. You know, figuring out you know how the defense is guarding you, trying to create a mismatch, try to drive by your guy, try to throw the ball into the post. You know, create an action where somebody's open, and our guys have done a, a great job. If you look at our stats and practice, the scrimmage exhibition, we've done a really good job of taking care of the basketball, and, and our assist uh, percentage has been really good. You've got a pretty big road trip coming on with teams like Villanova and Baylor. What are you going to look to build on from this team to help improve for this long, extensive road trip? Yeah, so from day one, we've really talked about being in the moment, winning the moment. And you know our big thing is to tomorrow. You know we got to win tomorrow, and that's recovery, that's hydration, that's rest, that's taking care of your bodies, ice tubs. And then we got to come in on Monday, and, and you know we got to get better. And you know from day one, you know our goal wasn't to be two and zero right now. You know our goal is to get better every single day to get closer as a team. And you know we still have a lot of stuff we got to get better at. So we got to come in. You know when we do come back practice Monday, you know prepare for an Iona team that went to the NCAA tournament. They got three starters back, two high major transfers. And uh, you know it's going to be a great challenge for us, and and uh, but you know the preparation's got to be there. Like I said, Thursday, this past Thursday, we were very lethargic. The energy level wasn't there, and you know I'm not good enough of a coach to you know out coach someone when when that happens. We're not a good enough team, you know, just to to show up and win. You know we we got to prepare to win, and, and, and energy levels got to be there. We we got to be consistent.